Instagram account reveal if you have something like depression. Two research from the University of Vermont and Harvard say that they've developed an algorithm that uses posts on Instagram to identify depression. And they say it can identify the mental illness even better than doctors can, which is pretty remarkable. So here's what they did. They looked at 44,000 Instagram photos, a group of 161 people. 71 of those people had been diagnosed with depression. And it went through with this algorithm and it was able to spot depression. 70% of the time, which is pretty remarkable. Yeah, and one thing that's that amazing, I, yeah. I didn't realize that for doctors, it's actually quite a bit lower, 42% of the time, when you're looking at a doctor diagnosis. So the algorithm did 30% better than doctors. Than a doctor did, just by looking at Instagram. Now, in so. fairness, the algorithm was starting with half of the people about mm -hmm. in the group that they were looking at had been diagnosed with depression. Right. Sure. So uh, a little different. It, it's a little different, but it still is very promising. Well, and very revealing too what they found. So they actually were able to say that the tendency of people who had depression have been diagnosed, they preferred those darker colors, grays, and there was less evidence of social activity too. So kind of maybe that isolation. But the interesting thing that I found, they were more likely to post pictures with faces in them, not necessarily their own faces, but faces in the pictures mm -hmm. were on the flip side of that, people who weren't diagnosed with depression, there were more people in the picture. So if you were diagnosed with depression, singular or fewer people mm -hmm. versus multiple people. And then the difference in filters too. They found that people who were diagnosed with depression didn't use a lot of filters. If you did, it was to more black and white. Whereas people who did not have that diagnosis wanted like Valencia, which is, you know, makes you look sun-kissed or it's warmer colors. It's amazing. I mean, stuff. you do think that it makes sense that if you are clinically depressed, mm -hmm. that you are going to uh, post on social media in a way that might turn out to be predictive. We yeah. don't know, right? We know that they were able to find these commonalities and have an algorithm and say, yep, and they these got it right most of the time. Sure. Does it work to say everyone who is using the inkwell filter mm -hmm. or right. just, I well, don't know, this, but this you think like, wow, if out, you though. could pull out uh, even a tiny percentage of yes. people, how huge that could be. Well, and so here's what I think could be really cool about this is that they're developing apps that will actually look through a person's smartphone activity and say like, okay, there might be some signs here that could you know, correspond with depression, yeah. here is a link to huh. some help. And he, I think that could be great with teenagers when a lot of this start, stuff starts to get diagnosed and parents aren't able to maybe sit down. If they can say like, okay, let's put an app on their phone to see what's going on, it could be really neat. Yeah, I think the most revealing thing from this study is what you already mentioned, mm -hmm. the 42% uh, that's being yeah. diagnosed here. Anything that you can do to kind of improve that and get people help that need. Yes, it, yeah, and having something that doesn't have uh, there's no friction there by just having an app that runs through your Instagram thing. You're mm -hmm. like, you get answers without having to maybe take that step to go see a therapist yeah. first. Yeah, very mm -hmm. interesting. It's exciting.